Hey guys, what's up? Spider here for Zombie Intel number three. This is Call of Duty World War II Zombies, continuing our little series. Uh, I think these videos should be getting a little bit shorter now. Uh, keep our fingers crossed, all right? Anyways, going to the classified website, we're going to take a look at the next dossier. So we've seen the dossier with the two pictures. We've got Daniels. The next one is Russo, and her first name is unknown. Her nationality is French, and uh, we're just going to take a look at the, the front of the folder for now. Her rank, leader of the Maquis. Her units, FFI, French Resistance. Now, when you do a Google search on Maquis, right? And it, this is what it reminded me of was Star Trek Voyager, the Maquis. Anyways, uh, it's actually the second link down on Wikipedia. The Maquis were rural guerrilla bands of French Resistance fighters called Maquisards during the occupation of France in World War II. Initially, they were composed of men who had escaped into the mountains to avoid conscription into Vichy France's Service du travail obligatoire, the STO, to provide forced labor to Germany. To avert capture and deportation to Germany, they became increasingly organized into active resistance groups. This part piqued my interest. Their equipment, although the Maquis used whatever arms they could get, they relied heavily on airdrops of weapons and explosives from the British SOE. SOE parachuted agents in with wireless sets for radio communication and dropped containers with various munitions, including Sten guns, pencil detonators, plastic explosives, well rod pistols, which is a silenced specialized assassination weapon favored by covert operatives, and assorted small arms, i.e. pistols, rifles, and submachine guns. The Maquis also used German weapons captured throughout the occupation, the Mauser 98K rifle and MP40 submachine gun being very common. A French resistance fighter is quoted saying, they're as common as hookers on the streets of Paris, and they get about as much action. Now, just to carry on further with her unit, FFI French Resistance, the French Forces of the Interior, so FFI, refers to French resistance fighters in later stages of World War II. Charles de Gaulle uses it as a formal name for the resistance fighters. The change in designation of these groups to FFI as opposed to, you know, the Maquis or resistance in general, um occurred as France's status changed from that of an occupied nation to one of a nation being liberated by the Allied armies. As regions of France were liberated, the FFI were more formally organized into light infantry units and served as a valuable manpower addition to regular free French forces. In this role, the FFI units manned less active areas of the front lines, allowing regular French army units to practice economy of force measures and mass their troops in decisive areas of the front. Finally, from October 1944, and with the greater part of France liberated, the FFI units were amalgamated into the French regular forces, continuing the fight on the Western Front, thus ending the era of the French irregulars in World War II. I did flip through the uh, original trailer that was uh, posted, that we posted in the Daniels dossier, and I did not see any indication of Rousseau or the Maquis or the FFI. So opening up the uh, dossier to the first page, we have a note here or an article, it looks like, that's written in French, obviously. Uh, this is France, right? Paris, uh, presumably. Anyways, just to translate, I uh, went to Google Translate for this. Prepare the fight. Appeal of the Paris Liberation Committee. The people of Paris must resist the enemy forces that are invading our land. We owe it until the last soldier is banished from the streets of our city. Begin to mobilize, join the resistance, cut off their communications, put up barricades, stop the trains. We must act for ourselves, for our children, for our country. Do not give up hope. The struggle continues. Now, just a note with reference to the Paris Liberation Committee. The Liberation of Paris, also known as the Battle for Paris, was a military action that took place during World War II from August 19th, 1944, until the German garrison surrendered the French capital on August 25th, 1944. We also see as we uh, scroll down the page that it uh, looks like there's a picture of Rousseau with uh, a couple of, uh, of her partners or people that were also involved in the resistance at that time, at least we're presuming. Looking at the next page, it appears we have a German passport or ID card. And uh, for the translation, that's it's basically Oswiss is ID card. The owner of this, and this is Gerda Schneider. So I think, uh, yeah, Rousseau had a fake passport so she can uh, go to and from Germany, I guess. 
The owner of this staff level is at the borders, bases, and camps of the Empire Free Passage. The uh, next note we have for Rousseau is a note written in French, and it translates loosely to Agent Maquis Rousseau avoided the enemy. Hard fighter. The focus is on Paris, but it is surely in pursuit of Heinrich. According to SOE contacts or a solitary wolf is not clear. Well, we obviously know from uh, the previous pages that she is not just operating as a lone wolf. And finally, the last page is just a photo, presumably of Paris, and uh, written underneath is Occupation of Paris. So I don't really have a whole lot for you guys from a zombie's perspective, other than perhaps maybe Paris being a prime location, either for the initial you know, release of zombies or DLC down the road. Not sure, but uh, anyways, that is the second personnel dossier that is contained in the classified website. We'll have more for you soon. Told you these were going to get shorter, but uh, once we get into Marie's journals, I think they might actually expand a little bit again, and we'll see what happens. That's it for now. I'm Spider, and I'm out.